Hi, welcome to another five minute session. And this time I will show you how you can use vertex colors to create ambient occlusion. And I will just continue from the last session because we can just build on that one. And if you have not seen the last session and have all these things set uh, up, it doesn't matter so much. Uh, you can just add them later on because this will still be a separate part of this. Okay, so let's go. Uh, we had in the last session a dirt on the vertex colors and now I would like to have ambient occlusion. So the first thing I would like to do is to add another color attribute. And then I just press the plus here and here I then can select uh, AO as an ambient occlusion. Uh, now you probably just press OK, but don't use face corner and bite color. Because using face, face corner and bite color will make the things you do here compatible with other softwares as well. So if you go outside Blender, let's say that you would like to export your vertex color into Unreal or something like that, then they understand face corner and by color and also if you do uh, yearly two nodes and you would like to use this attribute as well as color still use face corner and bite color so it's always best to use face corner and bite color and nothing else okay so then we just press ok and now we have something called AO and I would like the vertex colors to be in this AO here so what I can do then is that I can select AO and I can select this as the default thing here. So we can have that in. And if I now go to uh, the solid and I go here to my vertex paint, you can see that AO is completely black and dirt has this color. So now I go to AO and then I go up to this render properties. Look that we have cycles up here. And if we have cycles, then we can bake. And if we are baking, then we can select the bake type, and the bake type should be ambient occlusion. But down there, where I said target, change that to active color attribute. And since we're in here, selected AO and that camera, now this is the active. So we can use that one and just press bake. And in just one second, you have ambient occlusion in here. It doesn't, it's not exactly the same as dirt. This is more like fake shadow. So if we compare these, it will now look this for AO and this for dirt. So this is the difference. So we can use both of these in here. So we use the color attribute to use dirt. We can use that as well, but we can also use the input of the attribute just to show you the difference and then I just write AO here because it's the AO that I would like to use. So I can use the color in here, the base color and go to render view and then you can see we get the AO in here. We can also use the factor, it will give the same result since we're now working with black and white. So that means that we now can combine. So this was the old one with dirt and now I would last like some extra shadows on those parts where we have ambient occlusion. So then I can just use the mix again, press Shift D to copy. And then we put this in the bottom and we take the factor to a factor and we can put some darkness in here. So we then have some darkness in here and then we have these extra shadows or more uh, dirt or raw where we would like to have it uh, according to the ambient occlusion calculation that we got. So this is how you can use more than one vertex colors and also using bake to create a base for ambient occlusion in your vertex colors that you later on can use in your material. So this material is now good to use for the monkey here but it could be whatever you want like a statue or something you can use the same setup and the same way to do stuff and you will get everything nice looking like this so now i know how to bake ambient occlusion into the vertex color as well and my five minutes is gone so i just say 
Bye for now and see you tomorrow.